Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Marissa Sarback with Big Fox News. Uber and Lyft are coughing up refunds to passengers who got slapped with surge pricing. This is they hopped into cars to flee the Port Authority bombing yesterday. The blast completely shut down the Times Square subway station. Users were hit with fares that were jacked up two and a half times normal rates. Surging occurs automatically when there's an increased demand in one area. Now both companies say they disabled their surge pricing within minutes of reading news of the explosion. There's an update in a water fight between Elmira City Council and the Elmira Water Board. City leaders voted last night to take the first step in gaining control of the board, which has served as an independent organization. But the city claims they've asked for more than $187,000 in profits or surplus from the water board over the last few years, and their requests were denied. City leaders will now send a letter to Senator Tom O'Mara and Assemblyman Chris Friend requesting state involvement. Sayre police are looking for two men who stole from a convenience store. Police say the theft happened around 3.30 Sunday morning at the Dandy Mini Mart on Spring Street. They say two men went into the store, jumped the counter, and put cigarettes and cigars into a garbage bag. Police say the thieves drove away, and store employees were doing work in a back room at the time. One of the suspects is described as a white man between 6 and 6'2", 250 pounds, wearing red Adidas hooded sweatshirt. The other is described as a light-skinned black man, 5'7 to 5'9", 160 pounds, and wearing a gray hoodie. You're asked to call Sayer Police if you think you know who these men are. Well, it's looking like a winter wonderland across the Twin Tiers. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers lets us know how much snow we'll see next in his Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back, everyone. A good Tuesday evening to you. Watching another low pressure system make its way through our area here overnight tonight and through the day on Wednesday, bringing us another chance for some light snow. Again, looking like accumulations around the Elmira area, probably around two inches or so as you wake up early on Wednesday. But there's a winter weather advisory out for our area. That area here, shaded in the blue, is actually where we see that winter weather advisory. A little further to our north there around Syracuse, that's where they have a winter storm warning. In effect, and as you get closer to the lakes, then they do have some lake effect snow warnings in effect just south of Buffalo, and that's actually an extreme southwestern New York and northwestern uh, Pennsylvania overnight tonight and through the day on our Wednesday. So here's what future radar looks like. Again, a few flurries out there as we get to the evening hours and overnight hours of tonight. The majority of the snow will actually come in early tomorrow morning, and then actually throughout the day on our Wednesday into Wednesday afternoon, you see an area of snow develop off to our west, the area in blue here, and that's going to actually make its way through our region then with a low pressure system, and as it does. So that's where it could add up to a couple inches of snow here over the next 24 to 48 hours. So here's what it looks like on our map. Then we do see, again, around the Elmira area, maybe about two inches or so. A little further north, though, Ithaca, Watkins Glen, maybe three or four inches. Again, you got to go a lot further to the north and east into parts of Syracuse, up to nine inches. Maybe you could see nine inches around Hamilton, Hamilton as well. And so the heavier amounts are going to be to our north and a little bit to our east. Again, we're looking at about one to three here in much of the Twin Tiers, a little further to the south then. Again, to Wanda, only about an inch or so as we head through the day on our Wednesday. So cloudy, windy, a few flurries out there throughout the afternoon, but again, a little more snow developing by the afternoon hours. As we head through the day on your fr uh, your Thursday, very cool temperatures continue, along with those windy conditions as well, and keeping a little bit of snow chance in our forecast, even as we head into the end of our work week. Here's what it looks like on our surface map. Again, flurries around the area with some scattered snow. Also very windy on our Wednesday, along with the wind, a lot of colder temperatures too, looking like a wind chill is very possible to be into the single digits or even teens as we head through Wednesday afternoon. Overnight lows tonight drop into the teens, so it's going to be a little snowy at times. West winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. As we head into your Wednesday, highs only in the upper 20s in most areas. Again, a few flurries, windy, and again, those wind chills. They're probably seeing those wind chills into the single digits and teens with west northwest winds at 10 to 15 mile per hour. Here's a look at our seven day forecast and 23 the high for your Thursday. Again, maybe a few flurries out there. Could see a little more snow move in for Friday as well. Again, isolated snow chances, 28 the high on Friday. Then back in the 30s for the weekend and actually it could warm up in the 40s 
by early next week. So not looking like the cold weather is going to hang around all that long, but definitely seeing some warmer weather as we head to about Monday and Tuesday of next week. But just a few inches of, of snow here in the next 24 hours or so. Again, that winter weather advisory in effect for our area. I love that we've reached the time of the year when 40s is warming up. <laughs> yeah, we're actually in, <laughs> we look forward to the 40 te degree yeah, temperatures, that's kidding. for sure. All right, thanks, Chris. Well, it's one of the hottest Christmas parties in the nation's capital. Last night, the halls of Capitol Hill were abuzz with holiday spirit. The beloved furry friends of House members and staffers dressed up in their most festive attire, all to attend the bipartisan holiday party. The shindig was sponsored by Congress members from both sides of the aisle. Of course, these cute pooches didn't seem to care about party affiliation. <laughs> As you can see, they're just happy getting into the spirit of the season. Yeah, good time it. to get, get involved with all that. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great evening.